a beautiful day. Look at how pretty everything is, especially this gigantic swirling piece of beauty. My wonderful, wonderful mossy tree seed. I, I, I think at least that's what this is. I'm pretty sure that's what this is, but then why do the trees down to the south that I thought were mossy seeds that I planted, why don't they look like this? Huh. I might need to go and double check that because this, I want more of this, whatever this happens to be. But, oh, look at this. And my corn is ready to harvest and so are these wonderful artichokes. Leah, do you know if I could use these for something? Because that would be really fun. Uh, also, good morning. Would you like your daily coffee? This is a really nice gift. Thank you. No problem. I spent the morning repairing a few of the fences. They should be good as new. Oh, thank you. I also filled Noodle's water bowl. <gasps> that reminds me! Oh, I won't overwork myself. And I will make sure to take a break. Wow, that was a lot of advice for the day. <laughs> Maybe Leo was like outside first thing in the morning and like, <laughs> this is a lot of work. Uh, like, it, it, she just is really feeling for me right now, which is very sweet. But welcome back everyone to our adventures here in the Valley of Stars, where I am apparently somehow, amazingly running out of coffee beans. How? How? Every time I harvest these, there's like a couple hundred of them. How do I have coffee beans? Also, there's just a bunch of, oh, hello yams. <laughs> there's a bunch of yams and oh, look, the little hazelnuts and common mushrooms are ready to harvest. <gasps> look at all of these. Oh, I love finding all of the like autumnal forge just ready to go ahead and collect. And what is this here? Thank you very much, Rainbow Trouts. I don't remember why I needed you, but I needed you for something, and y there you are. One of these days we'll spend some time really working with uh, what actually might be useful to do with the fish, but for now my pockets are apparently full and that's not good because I'm a little worried I'm going to lose track of- No! Those are really important fruits! Dang it! Okay, um, um, uh, <laughs> Okay, 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 eh, eh, okay, I'm going to eat this yam. Just, why not? Just a, a raw yam for breakfast, I'm sure that's fine. <laughs> but welcome back. So it's actually been a couple days since you have roamed about with me in our wonderful, wonderful farm, because I actually got a little distracted going over to the lava caverns, diving into its, its mine, which apparently is only 10 mines deep, but boy, do they pack a punch. And I have also been going about and I have been quite busy organizing. Yes, me, the Siri, organizing the farm. <laughs> it, it, it's actually been rather glorious because we actually, a little bit, have some of these things cleaned up. Also, hello, Clover. How are you, little baby? I wish I could give you this pomegranate or, you know, like any toys or any treats. Um, let me grab these coffees as well. Did I just put a pomegranate in? Okay. I didn't mean to put a pomegranate in that keg, but here we are. Uh, and little Clover, I was going to actually, you know, line up some of the coffee beans there. So uh, one of my hopes for the things, whoops. One of my hopes for the things that we can actually do in our little home is set up a cafe over here. Like with a little coffee table, make it look like Brewster could just stop in and visit at any moment. Um, and well, I would really like to spend time doing that. But with winter coming, I do think we'll have plenty of time for that. Ooh, dried cranberries. You're gonna go in the raisin pile. Th this is the raisin pile right here. Well, to be honest, I don't actually like raisins, but my husband Chips loves raisins. So I keep them stocked in the house. <sighs> if I had to have a dried fruit, I don't really like dried fruit, that's the thing. But you know what I would probably like? The dried mushrooms, because I could mix that into like a yummy stir fry or like a nice fried rice. That sounds delicious. Um, I don't think you can make dried yams, can you? I mean, no, apparently, but I'm sure you could if you really put your, your heart in it. <laughs> don't let anyone hold you down, my friends. Don't let them tell you you too cannot like make dried yams and then slap a few words on it and probably sell it for a bazillion dollars somewhere. Um, and to be honest, actually, I could probably start using a bazillion dollars because we are sort of going through our money pretty fast. I don't know how I've done that. The answer is probably obvious. It has to do with financial planning and numbers. But that means that it is simply oblique to me. 
And I, I just, that's just uh, gonna have to be how it is. All right, let's see. Well, okay, that's that's a cop-out answer. Uh, I need to start really putting some attention into remembering, A, that I wanna get around fast by using up all of those hundreds of coffee beans that I was just commenting on. Where do they go? Gee, Siri, I don't know. Do they maybe go into the fact that you like go through this triple shot espresso like a fiend every day? Yeah, maybe that's where they're going. You know what I mean? And then I also need to start paying attention Oh, hey, smoked fish. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's one of the rainbow trout. We were just saying good morning to the rainbow trout. Oh, no, I can't use this smoker unless I have to. I feel way too guilty. Quick, let's throw this into... We need to get this into the shipping bin. We were just like, oh, hi, little rainbow trout friends. And then what do I go and do? Uh, just pull one of their, their, their family members right out of this basement. Like, all looking a little crispy. No, I cannot handle that. Also, I need to move these mushrooms. Ah, but behold! Our wonderful organization. And you thought I couldn't do it. Well, to be fair, neither did I. However, I have really been trying to take just a bit of time. It doesn't have to be perfect, but at least making it so that we feel a little more comfortable while frantically digging around in all of these chests trying to find, you know, things that we could use for our various adventures um yeah yeah at least at least we've gotten there oh and these are my treasures okay okay uh we'll reward ourselves with the treasures in just a moment here let me go ahead and put away the fruit chest is not where carrots nor mushrooms go see organized all right there we go so Whilst I was roaming about, spending time a couple days, truly spending uh, organizational bits in our house, and also a little bit on the farm, I also got lucky enough to take a couple of those golden coconuts we found and got a banana sapling and a mango sapling. I am so happy about that. I truly am. I can't believe we actually managed to go ahead and get these without having to pay the adorable bluebird of, of the trading post on Ginger Island a lot of dragon's teeth. I kind of need those to get to the island fast. Like, too bad you can't make like dragon tooth ginger tea and just like teleport yourself there all the time. Uh, also with the zoomies, which would be cool. Uh, oh, speaking of things to do on the island that have to do with food, I probably need to go through and gather up different types of seeds and start growing different things on the farm for that frog. I wonder if the, the melons are done. Ooh, and we need to take some iridium sprinklers over there too. Hmm, well, we'll look into all of that. But for now, these are the other treasures I managed to snag. We got some omni geodes from the mine and a prismatic shard. I don't know if I've donated this yet. I think I was just sitting on it and like I didn't want anyone to take my prismatic shard away from me, which is a little ironic considering I have completely forgotten if they have any purpose or use. And I think a big answer to that is yes, Siri, they do X. And X is something really, really important and interesting. But heck if I know, hey! Who's that zoomy little guy? It's Rowan! Good morning, Rowan! Maybe I'll give him the prismatic shard and like just hand it off to my kid. I'm already feeding them ancient fruit snacks, like ancient fruit fruit snacks, dried ancient fruit. So, you know, why not just go the extra mile? We also have our prize tickets. I wanted to pop into town and see what actually happens when I use those today because I haven't done a single one of them. And we have some new books, some wonderful new books that we were able to go ahead and pick up from the bookseller, including Woodcutter Weekly. Read this to gain some forging experience. Friendship 101, you become friends with people a little faster. Star Do Valley Almanac, learn some farming experience. And Bait and Barbler, gain some fishing experience. So to be fair, I kind of already <clears throat> Happen to be maxed out on the skills here. Yeah, that's me. And then I also happen to be maxed out on most friendships. I will admit not all. Need to spend a little time with Sandy and the dwarf. Um, and then I think, okay, yeah, gotta, gotta, gotta spend some time with Leo. Yep, yep, yep. 
and 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 my kid and no one else <laughs> oh dear um we're just gonna uh, one day maybe i'll be able to become friends with penny again but i don't know she's just she spooked me that that incident in the hot springs just felt like it crossed some lines all right let's see Cool! So even though we didn't get any more skill experience from that, being able to go ahead and read those gave us quite a bit of mastery. <gasps> We're probably so close to our next mastery point! I can't wait! I'm so excited! Also, do I have any seeds to put in that chest? No, because I put all my seeds where they belong, which isn't in here, which is kind of a decision I'm coming to regret a little. Hey, Leah! Oh, two kisses today! Lucky me. Alright, let me go ahead and put these away. I can't believe I'm running out of coffee beans. I mean, yes. Oh dear. It takes five coffee beans per coffee. And yes, I don't exactly pop into my greenhouse every day to manage it as I probably should. But still, also good morning everyone. Rosestone, could you come help me? Ooh, is this <gasps> maple syrup? Cool! I actually just got a huge bottle of maple syrup as a very late uh, birthday gift from my father-in-law. Because <laughs> Chips and my father-in-law work together to get us a new waffle maker because I love waffles. I... I wasn't expecting it. So I have to tell you, when you open up like a heavy package and you're like, what on earth is this? And you can hear the sound of like my my wedding ring hit it. And I was like, oh, is this like something glass? Oh my gosh. And I open it and it's a huge thing of maple syrup. It was, it was quite a surprise, a pleasant surprise because now we can have plenty of maple syrup on our waffles, but still. All right, gotta give all of you guys a pat. And then, oh, I don't have any geodes going right now. <gasps> that won't do. <gasps> we have 99 Omni Geodes! And I don't remember what I needed them for. Yeah, was that... Okay, I think we needed 99 Omni Geodes for something really cool on the island. So we'll put that with the stuff I'm going to take to Ginger Island, like the mango sapling and banana sapling, because I want to make sure that those also make their way to the island instead of be planted here, so that they can grow, hopefully... Yeah, maybe year round? I don't know if they will. We'll see. And then, meanwhile, let us gather up some of these other normal geodes. Ooh, there's a dragon's tooth in here! Oh my gosh, thank goodness. <laughs> I can make another warp if we want to. Um, and then let's put these guys right there. I even have made some more seed makers. I told you I was really putting some effort, a lot of effort, into trying to go ahead and actually do some... <gasps> Yay! Coffee beans! Speak of the beanie devil! Alright, let's go ahead and gather all you guys up, because apparently I'm about to be a sad Siri without... Oh! <laughs> and my cactuses! They're giving me cactus fruit, alright? I wonder if Sandy likes cactus fruit. Maybe I'll just take some... Ooh! The new melons! <gasps> no way! The powder melon! Named for the powdery coating that forms on the surface, this melon is a crisp and del is crisp and delicate with the uh, crisp and sweet with a delicate flavor. <laughs> oh, whoa! Melon with a powdery surface. I legitimately cannot think of anything that I've eaten like that. Hmm. Maybe a kiwi. Like that's the closest thing I can think of is a kiwi. But I also have been coming in uh, and trying to tidy up the greenhouse a little bit. So we do happen to have a bunch of those melons planted. Do they give you more melons? No, they're a one and done. Okay. And I've been trying to keep the carrots moving too. And then we have some more spots with ancient fruit seeds. And I can't remember if I planted anything else yet. The raccoons have indeed taught us another, like one other plant. I'm trying to remember. The summer squash. We should grab some summer squash and we should take it to uh, to the ginger island. I think that would be a good idea. Also, I guess I'll sell the gold quality and silver quality of these guys because I kind of need room in my pockets. My goodness, what a busy day on the farm. Oh, and it's George's birthday. Oh, heck. All right, let's go into town after we sell these. Oh, okay. Look, I'll give it like one second. There we go. Oh my gosh, it feels weird to sell stuff again after, you know, not having to worry about that because we were pearl millionaires. There we go. 
I wonder if I should make some more carrot seeds. They grow in one day. That has to be some really good return. Can I make dried carrots? I mean, I know those exist because they're in like the mixes that you get when you go camping. Uh, I'm out of room again. <laughs> When you go camping and uh, you like get those like rice mixes that you can mix with hot water and then you really wonder if this was better than just a very smushed sandwich. It, I, I haven't really eaten a good one, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, should I leave some stuff here? All right, maybe the normal fruits and we can put the normal fruit, like the normal quality I like to save for um, cooking and things like that and then sell the higher quality. There we go. I just really wanted to make sure we tried to take care of the greenhouse while we thought about it. Because I can promise you, once we leave, I'm probably going to forget. Because there's going to be so much fun stuff to do in town. Alright, there we go. There. I wonder if some of the villagers would like the powder uh, melons. But maybe we should save it for winter. And offer it out as like a winter special. The, the farm is trying, branching out, trying new plants. So hopefully... Uh, I guess I could go ahead and put the artichoke seeds in here too. Because it's going to be, unfortunately, the end of the seeds in pretty soon. There we go. Woo! Good job, Geode Maker! Or Geode Crusher! Oh. Choose one. Greater chance of finding geodes, greater chance of finding coal. I don't know if we're going to go mining today, but I love the geodes. Okay. Oh, there's so much. See, this is why I've been trying to organize things behind the scenes. <laughs> so that I could try, try being the, the desperately optimal word here. Or perhaps the desperately, like, highlighted, underlined, bolded, put in a different color word. <laughs> to get a little bit done so that we can adventure together in different arenas and in different ways and areas. Alright. But the good news is, at least a lot of things are tidied up. And that lets me try to get some things done a little faster. Put these away. And put all this away. Might as well keep all the coffee beans. And let's get rid of this smoked rainbow trout before it makes me feel any guiltier. And then any of the crops that are star quality, we'll just go ahead and sell. And then let's go in and we're going to grab a leek for George. Because I remember he likes leeks. Hey, Leah. Let's see. So leek would be... <gasps> yes, we have one! I was a little worried we didn't have one, and it looks like it's my last one. What does it take to make some spring forge seeds? Wild horseradish, dandelion, leek, and daffodil. So let's make at least one package of those, because otherwise I'm worried I won't be able to find, like, well, obviously I won't be able to find any until spring. But let's see, let's grab that, and then... Uh, I guess I only need one, because I'm going to be... Yeah, I'm going to actually be using the leek up. So dandelion, daffodil, leek, dandelion, daffodil. There we go. We'll give one of the daffodils to Evelyn as well. She was really sweet and sent us a chocolate cake. And then I'll put the wild horseradish back. Um, there we go. And what else do we have? Ah, we've got some blue babies to put away. And otherwise... I have a few treasures to drop off for Ginger Island. And look at this, see? I told you, you guys. Oh, and I forgot we found another mango sapling. <laughs> and we have enough cinder shards to actually go and get those like fancy pantsy shoes that we read about. I guess we can take the prismatic shard and see if we can offer it to Gunther as well. That might be kind of useful. Oops, and my banana sapling needs to go in here too. There we go. All right, we'll drop this off, and the maple syrup goes in the kitchen. This is see, this is what you 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 wonderful people have done. Oh, where did I did I sell my espresso? Did I put it away somewhere? What? Well, I don't think I just drank like eleven of my espressos at once. But what are you gonna do? All right, Rosestone, let's head out. Because if we don't go now, I'm beginning to worry I may not make it. All right, we'll grab this. Hey, Pam, good to see ya, good to see ya. You like the wild plums, right? There you go. 
Always good just to keep a little bit of happiness going on in the town. Speaking of the town, Clint, I don't think I have any business with you today, my friend. But maybe, whoopsies. Just gonna go the long way around, don't mind me. Hiding in the trash from Penny. All right, ooh. I don't remember why this is here. Books? Maybe? <gasps> I don't have a prismatic shard yet. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look how much we do have though. Also, is that Sam cleaning up in the... What? Does he have a job now? Yay! Wow, I didn't know we hadn't turned it into the museum yet. Hey, Gunther. Magic rock candy. A rare and powerful candy infused with the essence of the prismatic shard. Mining, luck, speed, defense, and attack. Worth 5,000 gold. Can I... Gunther. So, friend. Do you have a recipe for that? Because that's kind of amazing. <laughs> yes! I am so saving that. We should wait for like a lucky day in the mines where we also have one of the blessings. And then we should totally go and we should totally try that out. Because that would be so much fun to go to like Skull Cavern with that. Hey, Abby. Are you growing pumpkins on your farm this year? Maybe. I forgot that you might like those. And then Elliot! Oh, trying your hand at farming? Well, the, the occupation is kind of occupied of, you know, I, I married Leah. And Sam's on the clock. I didn't know he worked here. I truly didn't. I feel, well, you know, I would have feel a little bad. But, like, his mom's still doing all of his dishes and laundry and possibly even cleaning his room. Whoops, we're just gonna keep moving. Don't mind me. Don't need to worry about what is happening with Penny. Oh, and also, we have taken on a new mega quest that I am very excited about because it is fragments of the past. We have five more days to go ahead and collect some more bone shards, which I thought was going to be easy because, you know, there's the giant bone dig pit over on Ginger Island. Yeah, then I went there yesterday while I was tidying things up and doing a little mining just for a bit of fun. And there were only three bone piles. So, maybe, wait a second, maybe if I fight the, the Skellyman, will I get bone shards? I vaguely remember that. All right, we might have to try that out for sure. But for now, let us go ahead and try out what happens if I use my prize tickets. It's like the mayor knew me, knew me very, very well, because I am incentivized by randomness and I am incentivized by cute little prizes. Um... I've noticed, like, they don't seem to change what the lineup is. So, I think you have to go in order. Yeah, look at that. So it's powder melon seeds. And then, that's really cute. An orange sap. What is that? And then we've got, is this, like, special bait? Please be seeds. Please be seeds. <gasps> Mixed flower seeds. I am so intrigued. Oh, dang it. And doesn't Clint close at three? Gosh darn heckin'. That's so much fun! I want to do more of those! I love getting random presents! Clint! Clint, still be open, please! I have things I need you to break open, as only a blacksmith can apparently help me with this box. Like, I, it must be as well taped as my dad tapes, like, gifts. He really missed his calling as, like, a professional gift wrapper, and I'm not being facetious. <laughs> <laughs> he's amazing at it to the point where he is just so careful and thoughtful when he wraps gifts very sincerely with all his heart that you can't figure out how to open it because it's seamless and you look and you look and you look you can't even see the tape you can't figure out where the paper begins it always is such a hoot when that happens it, what did you know you can get mystery boxes in mystery boxes <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's like a present you open and there's just more boxes inside. Ooh, I loved mixed seeds. Oh, more flower seeds. I wonder if we've unlocked the mixed flower seeds now. Is that clam chowder? And some quality fertilizer. A little bit of a mixed bag there, but oh, it'll do, it'll do. There you go, Clint. You might as well have that chowder. I have no idea where it's been or how long it's been there. So you're welcome to it. Ah, all right. 
And then maybe we'll pop over and we will actually give George this gift. And then, oh, uh, I mean, I could check on the raccoons. And other than that, I'm kind of curious to see what we might be able to do maybe at the island. Looking for more of those bone shards, because I don't know what kind of special gift Gunther might have for us in exchange for the collection. Okay, and then... I... kind of forgot Alex was here. So I finally decided... I, so I finally took the plunge. I decided to stop putting gel in my hair. I wouldn't want to be friends with someone who only liked me because I have gel in my hair. You know? Profound words. I'll accept them. Also, George, happy birthday. There you go. <laughs> ah, all right. I'll spend a couple minutes with him, then start wiggling my way back to the farm. Maybe over to Ginger Island. We'll have to see. Anywhere where I might have a bone to pick. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.